Hi everybody, it's Laurie from Llama Index here, uh, here to talk to you today about one of the newest features of Llama Parse, our world-class parsing document parsing service. Uh, it's called Auto Mode. Let's uh, dive straight into it. Um, basically, uh, we have multiple modes in which you can use Llama Parse. Uh, we have a fast mode, we have a standard mode, we have a continuous mode and we have a premium mode. Uh, but if you have a really long document, um, you might not want to parse every single page in premium mode, which is the best possible outcome. Um, if you have, you know, if your document is mostly text, but has the occasional image or complex table, then you might want to only use premium mode for those specific pages uh, to optimize your costs. And that's what auto mode lets you do. It lets you automatically upgrade to premium mode from standard mode uh, on conditions that you specify. So let's look at how that works. Uh, you don't have to do anything different to get auto mode. It's just built in. So we're going to install our usual dependencies. Uh, we're going to download a sample PDF to play with, which is uh, Amazon's uh, specification document for its new Nova models. Uh, and then we'll uh, set up our dependencies and our embedding uh, and LLM. Uh, the way that you trigger auto mode is just this parameter, auto mode equals true. Uh, and then you have four additional parameters that you can set, each of which is optional. Um, you can trigger on images, you can trigger on tables, uh, you can trigger on specific text, and you can trigger on regular expressions. And we're going to go through all of those. Um, for the sake of comparison, we have also uh, run the same document uh, through Llama Parse in just standard mode without auto mode turned on. Uh, in this section, we're just turning the parsed uh, documents into um, Llama Index document nodes so that we can work with them more easily. So this is the first page of the document from Amazon. Uh, and it contains this pretty diagram uh, showing what types of inputs uh, the various Nova models accept uh, and what kind of outputs they produce. Um, one of the coolest features of Llama Parse Premium is that it can, it can read diagrams and turn them into, uh, into schematic diagrams in source code uh, using the mermaid charts. Um, so you can see what a mermaid chart looks like here. Uh, there's some markdown to specify that a mermaid chart is happening, uh, and then it draws a graph uh, using text descriptions. When you render this graph, uh, it looks like this. This is exactly the same information, basically just turned on its side. Um, you can see text and image going to Nova Lite, which goes to text and code, video code and docs go into Nova Pro, and they output text and code. Nova Micro can take text and code and turn it into text and code, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, once you've got a diagram like this, obviously you can simplify it, you can make it prettier and stuff like that. But it's really, really cool to be able to go from just a picture uh, to a manipulatable uh, source diagram. Um, for the comparison case, in this case, uh, the uh, standard mode just ignores that diagram entirely uh, and does not parse it at all. Um, in our initial parsing, we were also triggering on tables. So let's look at page 11. Uh, which contains this table. Um, the difference here is more subtle. Um, you get uh, a perfectly parsed table uh, in premium mode. Uh, the specific thing that you get in premium mode that you don't get uh, in regular mode is uh, this subheading. It messes up this subheading and puts it all into one row. Uh, in standard mode, but in premium mode, with automa with, which is what auto mode puts you into, uh, you get a perfectly rendered table. Um, another cool feature of premium mode is uh, that it can take charts. Page 14 has some charts. Uh, they are, you know, they contain a, a wealth of information and uh, the premium mode parsing turns them into both mermaid charts and markdown tables. Um, in this case, the markdown table is more useful. What you get when you render it is this very simple markdown table of all of the values in the charts uh, compared to each other. 
uh, which is really great. Standard mode does not get that. <laughs> Standard mode gets very confused, as you can see. Um, with text-only mode, text-only pages, there's no difference. Page three is fully text, uh, and there's no difference between the two modes. You can see that here, and then again here. Um, let's think of, so in the parsing that we've done so far, uh, we were parsing based on the uh, on images and tables being present. Uh, but if you had uh, a document where you had specific things that you were looking for, like uh, an invoice or a document or a product details page or something like that in a very long document, you might want to upgrade for those specific structures uh, that might not be uh, tables and they might not be images. Um, so you can set a specific string uh, to look for and it will trigger on only those pages. In this case, I've set it to look for the word agents uh, and reparsed. Um, in this case, uh, I'm not going to run you through every single page in the parsed document that had the word agents on it. Um, but what I'm instead going to do is I'm going to get the JSON output. Uh, and in the JSON output, anything that has triggered the auto mode uh, comes with a triggered auto mode equals true uh, key and property. Um, so let's see which pages in our long document get that. Uh, here you can see page three, page eight, page nine, a couple pages uh, have agents on them. If you have a more complicated pattern that you're looking for and it's not just a string, you can do that as well. You can use regular expressions instead. In this case, uh, I've used a, a search string that looks for uh, agents or agentic. Um, and you can see here that the set of pages that gets parsed is different. Page one, page two, page three, they all have the word agentic on it, but it didn't have the word agents on it. Uh, and then once you've got your parse documents, you could do all of the great stuff that you usually do in Llama Index with it. You can parse uh, and you can index, and then you can search and answer questions on those indexes. Uh, we think auto mode is a really great leap forward in usability. Uh, and of course, it's going to save you money. So that's cool. So I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you next time.